Greetings and salutations, viewers of Kato's Corner here at Game Guys. Last time, we have defeat. We defeated Moog, and we now have full access to the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, the Shadow Realm. However, I took some time in between the end of the previous episode and this episode to think about. How do I want to proceed with the Shadow Realm? Since this is sort of a, a guide on how you can also get to a solid build to take on the Shadow Realm, this build is a little all over the place, and it, it needs a focus. Since I've already fully upgraded the Moon Veil, this will be the focus. I also have the Carrying Glint Blade Staff, so this will also be used. So... I hate to I hate to bust your balls a bit more, fellow viewers. However, we have to prolong just a bit. Shadow Realm's no joke. It's it's pretty challenging content. We need to actually have a solid build ready, and we're most of the way there. We got we have like most of what we need, but we are lacking a few things, which is what we're going to grab right now. So we're not going to talk to her just yet. We'll talk to her once when we're actually ready to go, but not yet. Not yet. Okay, so... We're gonna start off by going to the debate parlor. We're gonna pick up the Glint Stone Wet Blade. Some viewers might already know where I'm going with this. But essentially... The, it'll allow me to imbue weapons with cold and magic damage. I have become the GOAT. How much can I just soak this? Fear me, mortals! I am the Goat Man, Slayer of the Burger Kings. <laughs> Remember those old BK commercials with those creepy, that creepy ass mascot? That's what I'm thinking about when I fight. Well, the Burger King looking mascot dudes. That's how I see them. I think that's how a lot of gamers see them. Hello. And we we all the way home. Oh, he's got the glowy eyes. That means he's got stuff. Nice. How much does it take for us? 74k for a level up. Okay, this is where I fought that one dude. I'm gonna backtrack. Nice try. Open up the shortcut just while I'm in the neighborhood. All right, Burger King man, what's up, bud? Ha, you're too slow. Golden Rune 3. All right. If I recall correctly, we need to scale these rooftops. Ugh, I missed. One shot. This is most excellent. We got a bow smith. I actually like this look a lot. The goat armor with the Radon helm. Makes me look very horny. Because I got ram horns, and Radon's helm also has the jutting horns. I've got quad... I am quad horned right now. Just a... Take a moment here to observe the four horns. Wait a minute. I have two additional curvy horns on my gauntlets. And do I have any... And I got horns on the tips of my shoes. Yeah, goat armor is... And like the goat, I too can roll. Ooh, that was some owies. Greetings, sir. Goodbye, Dick. Dick. Um, something funny about the word Dick. Hey, I could have a friend named Richard. You never know. Could be talking about my buddy Richard. I know quite a few Richards. Ironically, not all of them are quite rich. What's up, buddy? 
I'm... I somewhat know where I'm going. But I'm more or less just going where the rooftops are taking me. Let me see here. No, we are... Hmm. Now then. Wait. All right, I have to drop down and then I have to loop around. Okay. Once again, I am vertically challenged. And it... Both ways vertically challenged. Is this where I... Is this the path? Is that where I... Okay, I think I'm getting close. And if I go this way... Smithing Stone 3. Oh, boy. Hippity-hoppity time. This is turning into quite the side adventure. Down this way, I... Nah, not making that jump. That's where I drop down. Yeah, I wouldn't be going this way. Cool, I didn't even take fall damage. <gasps> it's a crab! Twin Sage Clintstone Crown. I mean, we want to fit in. Fantastic. I am the Goat King now. Am I feeling green or am I feeling blue? I don't know. You tell me. The Shattering Crystal. So that's where it was kept all this time. Now that the ladder's been kicked, I unlocked a shortcut to the upper part of the... I have to go back to the debate. I have to go back to the debate parlor. Back this way. We have to go this way. I believe this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I did not even have to scale those rooftops to begin with, but you know, it was a nice little side adventure. But I got what I came for. It's time to move on. But while I'm in the neighborhood, sure. I'm gonna grab this crack pot and I'm gonna beat up some sentient jars because that's what I do on my spare time now. I am a jar bruiser. You know, if only they just let me pet them, I wouldn't have to smash the jars. Yeah, I'll pet jars. <laughs> I don't even know like living jar shard. I'm pretty sure there's something sick and sadistic about why the sentient jars even exist. It's like shamans, like, stuffing bodies into jars and performing voodoo rituals and shit. I don't know, leave a comment below what the deal is with the living jars. I only got, like, a brief summary that one time I was on Reddit. It's time to go see Fritz! I'm sorry. I'm in a mood today. Alright, so... We're going to be doing a dual magic katana build for Shout of the Air Tree. Since I've already got the Moon Veil fully upgraded, we're going to focus our efforts on this. And we're going to be dual katana-ing up with the Moon Veil and a... Well, I got that wet blade for a reason. Boop! Just had to jump over her once. And you know what? What's up, Fia? I'm jumping over you, too. And I broke your thing. Jumping over you. Oh, one second, this, this guy's gonna be tricky. All right, I'll settle for that. Oh, where's Gideon? I have to jump over, wait, wait. Grandma, let's jump over Grandma. The fingers are still stiff. I did it, I jumped over Grandma. Wait, 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 did I truly jump over Grandma? Here, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Okay, ready, ready, ready? I, the Burger King goat, will jump over. I jumped over. Finger, 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 finger reader, any. I, I always want to know what her name was. I just call her Grandma. All right, I still got to jump over Gideon, though. Ha ha, I jumped over you. <laughs> and you got jumped on and then over. 
<sighs> See you at the boss fight, bud. Okay, now that I've successfully hopped over... Not the blacksmith. Fritz does a lot of good work for me. So, I also don't think I can hop over him anyways. But I'm not gonna try. Hey, Fritz. What's up? Ash of War, the magic Uji Katana. Let's go with... Okay, let's go with Glimp Blade Phalanx, Ash of War still. But we're gonna go with Cold Uji Katana. Because it causes both frost buildup and blood loss buildup. So let's try that out. Strength and armament. I need smithing stone sixes. Which I do have access to with the grandma merchant. I never got to jump over the edgelord that sat here, but I got to fight him and... Oh. I know who... One final guy I have to jump over. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, 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 wait. Yes! You have been jumped over. Nah, I do business with you. I don't want to disrupt your inventory books. Six. So I need 11. We'll just grab the... I'll grab this memory stone while I'm in the neighborhood. Fantastic. Let me just waddle my ass all over there. This is very thick armored. This is thick armor. Especially with this crown. You know how many... How many... You know how many large BK meals I had to consume to get this crown? I... <laughs> the sacrifices I have to make for collectibles. Strength and armament. Alright. 16. 17. 18. Yep, I'm pretty spent on those. So, I think... Getting this to plus 18 is good enough, because we will be getting additional crafting materials in the Shadow Realm. So it's not fully upgraded, but due to the rescaling, it doesn't have to be. But I would say, like, at least get it to plus 18. Plus 18, special weapons you can definitely upgrade to fully plus 10. These ones take a bit longer, though, because I also have to get the Carrying Glint Blade up as well. But maybe it's best if we just get the Bell Bearing to get the full upgrades. That would require a lot of extra boss fighting. Nah, we, we can upgrade this. It has been decided. Yeah. I mean, plus 20, plus 18, yeah, th these are definitely Shadow Realm. Like, plus 18 is Shadow Realm ready. And this is fully upgraded. We gotta redo the stats as well. Also, I need to redo the Crystal tier. I, I gotta take care of- wait, I gotta get a Larval tier. Okay, so, larval tier. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know where I can grab one. There's a merchant who sells, like, three of them in this area. So we're going to find him. Also, turn on my little hip lantern so I can see in the dark. The dark's a little scary. You never know what's lurking. Could be some dude named Terrence with a chip on his shoulder... And a rusty knife. I don't believe this is anything special, but I do want to see what's in the Wonder Ball. I almost fell, but then I didn't. Okay, square off. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so I got a... Can I go up this way? I don't believe that actually leads anywhere, does it? Now then, not where I needed to go. I shall turn around and backtrack. Yo, those goats are barking pretty loud. They sense that the goat armor is nearby. I'm jumping over rats now. Yeah, we gotta backtrack a bit further, and we gotta go take a right, go into a building thing. I don't know. Two hits. Nice. Dude, the goats are, like, communicating. They're so cute. Oh, whoops! That was a mistake. Did not mean to hit the, the deer. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Yes, this is where I need to go.
Nice try. Huh, this wasn't correct. This wasn't the correct way after all. <laughs> oh, pardon my French. Nope, the escalator indeed goes this way. All right, we have to go back up the ladder. I believed I had missed something. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I had to jump down here. Now I can go this way. Ah, perfect. And here's the merchant. And here, oh, he only sells one, but we'll go ahead and buy this larval tier, and while we're in the neighborhood, all three of these, this, and I'll grab this. Pleasure doing business with you, kind sir. Hello. What was that noise? Well, time to move on. Go into the Rea Lucaria Grand Library. Oh, let me redo my physics. We'll go back to poise for the time being. I got another chair I'm going to replace this with. In an attempt to keep this family friendly. <laughs> nah, who cares? Whatever. It's it's a loincloth. It is what it is. Is it time? All right, rebirth. Larval tier. Yes. Now, okay. So here are here's the respec. We're level 109. That's pretty neat. We're gonna stick to 50 vigor. Definitely want that that maximum health. We're gonna get mind up to 20. We're only gonna get endurance up to 20. Yeah, we're we're going down an interesting route. Dex to 18 for the Moon Veil scaling. And then Intelligence. We'll bring Intelligence to 40. We're, obviously, we're going to leave Faith and Arcane alone. Strength, we're going to leave alone. Now that we got our Intelligence to 40, let's just, just get some more points into Endurance. There we go. So, our final respec. At level at rune level 109 prior to entering Shadows of the Air Tree. 50 Vigor, 20 Mind, 25 Endurance, 16 Strength, 18 Dex for the Moon Veil requirements, and 40 Intelligence for the damage scaling. There we go. Alright, now it's time to... I'll do the Radon test set. We're going to equip full Radons. Okay. Yeah, now we go into heavy. Okay, so let's just do Radon set for now. And if we go here, Great Jar's Arsenal. I think we have to stick with Radon's for now. Oh. I like to mix up the armor a bit. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty neat, but let's be real. Terrence has returned. Terrence the dragon. Back at it. Radon's armor plus Terrence. Yeah, I could equip this. But you know what? It's okay. I like having Terrence. All thanks to Great Jar's arsenal. We're also going to go with Green Turtle. We'll equip these for now. We gotta grab, there's two talismans I do want to pick up. And once again, I must. Say it with me. Consult the directory. After consulting the directory, we need to go there. And we also need to go over here. First, we pay a trip to War Counselor E.G. Oh, there he is. I was potentially overthinking the situation. Ah, uh, Hip Lantern. Nice. Purchase the Carrion Filigree Crest, lowers FP consumed by skills. There we go. And there's another talisman I would like to pick up. Over this way. Well, that's that's the frenzied flame. Okay. As I suspected. 
I have to get down there. Ooh. And get down there I shall. Trust in your own dexterity, and you too shall acquire... Okay, we're gonna fight this dude now. Alright, let's test it out. Yeah, this guy's annoying. Oh, that's right, he does, like, death damage. And the Mausoleum Knight Armor. Eh, that looks pretty lame. We gotta go through a dungeon, fight a boss, and this is the final talisman that I require. The Beast Eye Quivers. <gasps> Just take a sippy. Well, while I'm in the neighborhood, let's see what's in here. There we go. I'm gonna let them all just kind of pile up a bit. What are these Tumerians doing in my not Bloodborne game? Ow. Alright. You guys seem really upset that I'm here, so I'm gonna... Whoa, let me actually take a sip. Alright, one second. One second. Yo, this dude's not... Oh, I see, he's rezzing them. Eh, fuck off then. Yeah, I'm taking your plants. No reason, just felt like it. Damn, that was quick. Fine. Has come to my attention, I might be at a dead end. Is there like a hidden wall somewhere? You know, I want to believe, but when I met with constant disappointment and misguidance, I can't help but wonder, is anything truly real? Hello. All right, we gotta do this the hard way. I'm just gonna backtrack, figure out where I went, what incorrect turn I made, and all that fun stuff. So I'm definitely missing something. I gotta go back this way. Let's clear the enemies, since I am clearly lost. Hello. Oh yeah, you gotta, we got chuckle nuts. Oh, right, yeah, you got the Necromancer dude that keeps rezzing them. Dude, straight up a Mercy main in Overwatch. You know, it occurs to me I might be lost here. Maybe I do need to go back. Yeah. I right, remember, sip those electrolytes if you need them. Going back, okay, that's the was the super secret area that required the stone sword key. Okay, that's the door that I need to open with the switch somewhere. Okay, so... Okay, so I guess I was going the correct way. Where the fuck is this place? I 
Okay, yeah, so he's like rezzing. Then I came down this way. Yeah, so this was where I left off. Okay, I gotta consult the, the manual again. I will be right back. Hi, everybody. It's me, Kato. After consulting the directory and having a quick snack, I now know where to go. What? Uh, oh, All right, there we go. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta dodge, but then we gotta stand on this. And then we gotta jump up here and then... Oh, dick wieners. Yeah, this guy can go eat a wang. We got a couple of doodle derps here. Aw, oh, they're shooting the... Their little arrows. They're shooting their arrows. They're so cute. Yeah, so these guys are the necromancers. They keep him, like, revved. Yo, hold up. Oh, so if I take him out, they... All right, so it, it kind of works like in Dark Souls 1 when you're in the catacombs and you got those little, uh, those little hunched-over necromancer dudes. Unless you have a divine or an occult weapon. Okay. I believe I need to go this way. Nice. Nope. And there we go. Yes! 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 It's the lever. Yes! How do I open the door? Okay, so I cranked the lever already. Oh! I didn't see this one. Crabs. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Back to the door. I'm actually gonna go with... Eliminates FP consumption. Classic uh, Green Burst Cerulean Physic combo. No. It's time for a boss fight. Okay, so we do this. Then we do this. Didn't consume FP. See, yes, that's how I do it. Ooh. This dude's kind of creepy looking. And killed him in one hit! Ah, uh, Donkey would be so proud of me. I actually killed him in one hit. <laughs> It's like creepy looking like nightmare fuel dude and I'm just fuck off. I used my smart boy powers cuz I have an intelligence score of 40. Ah, uh, there's a death root, but most importantly, I thought huh. <sighs> I have to consult the directory again. I'll be right back. <coughs> After consulting the directory, I now know where to go. No. Ah! Ah! Nice. Okay. Hey, wait. Dodge, 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 dodge. Jumpity jump, jump. And ha ha! Picking the flowers! Get wrecked. Heh. <laughs> You're too slow! <clears throat> Excuse me. I meant to say, you are a bit too slow there, Chop. No, never mind. These voices are terrible. Something I must work on. I believe this is it. Yes. Ah, uh, the secret boss fight. 
Okay, let's go. Hey, bud. Well, that was a boss fight for sure. The Assassin Cerulean Dagger. And that's what I was looking for. And now we return to the surface. Time to test out our new toys. Critical hits restore FP. Here's our talisman spread. Green Turtle Talisman raises stamina recovery speed. Carrion Filigree Crest. Lowers FP consumed by skills. That's that blue bar below your red one. Assassin Cerulean Dagger. Critical hits restore FP. So when you get the stagger and you get that, th those are critical hits. And then this is so I can wear Radon's armor and Terran's can and the Terran's helm. Carrying Glint Blade Staff actually increase boosts Glint Blade Sorcery, which is what I'm using to enhance the stagger damage. Moon Veil plus 10, which is the max upgrade for this weapon. And Cold Ujikatana plus 18. Causes frost buildup as well as blood buildup. Fantastic. Wait one second. Let me rest. And let's do a test. Cool. Alrighty then. I think it's about time. Now, for those of you who have been uh, keeping up with this uh, series so far here at Kato's Corners, we've been doing a shitload of prep work to enter into the Shadow Realm. Now, granted, I'm sure you can enter the Shadow Realm much sooner, but I wanted to keep it new player friendly, so to speak. So here's the, here's the full build going into this. Moonveil plus 10. Cold Ujikatana plus 18. Carrying Glint Blade Staff at plus 20. Banished Knight Helm altered so Terence the Dragon can join us. Radons, Radons, Radons. I have Great Jar's Arsenal equipped so I can wear Radons armor plus Terence. The other Talismans, Green Turtle, Carrion Filigreed, and Assassin Cerulean Dagger. I got all 14 flasks at plus 12. In fact, I'm actually going to adjust this. We're going to go... 12 flasks and two blue ones. So let's actually make those adjustments now. Here's our cerulean flask as well as our wondrous flask. And. Well, you know, we gotta have some fun with the taunter's ton. Okay. Actually, let's, let's not clut clutter it up. We can have. We can fuck around later. But coming up is serious. Okay, let me just. Re let me just adjust the. The. One second, Nicola. Now then, right, Wonders Flask. Yes, I think I want to keep these two. Actually, with charged attacks. Yeah, but with Cerulean Hidden Tear, I can spam it more. Yep, I like this more. I was gonna go. With, I was gonna go get Stone Barbed, but I feel like I'm gonna get more damage off by being able to just spam this more. So we're gonna go with Green Burst and Cerulean Hidden to enter. Yep, I'm. I'm feeling. I'm feeling these two. We can always return and farm it later if that's the direction I need to go. And we go to our spell memorization. So we got the phalanx, but we also want to grab the great blade phalanx. And just so we can have some ranged. That doesn't work. Let's just stick with those two. Let's not clutter it up with things we don't need. I'll throw on here for a ranged in case we need ranged. And now, let us flasks. Allocate charges. 12 fruit punch to cool blue. So you want 12 cherry, 2 blue raspberry. The, uh, the, uh, the thing you occasionally sip on. I got glint blade. I got glint blade phalanx. I got great blade phalanx. And I got... Uh, Loretta's Great Bow. Yep, here's the, uh, here's that. And our physic is good. Our equipment is all set. Yes! Alright, everybody. Well, I like to... 
Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for joining me on this marvelous adventure so far. And yeah, next episode. Nope. No shit. We are finally going to be entering the Shadow Realm. Alright. Catch you all next time.